the 60s. It was the age of flower power, peace, love, and hippies. More importantly, it was the space age. And with the space age came all kinds of interesting inventions. And then the firearms industry was no exception. In fact, we had some pretty weird guns developed during the 1960s. One of them, the Dardic. What you actually have on the internal mechanism of this gun is kind of a rotary magazine that takes the trout. It's a triangular shaped self-contained cartridge. The Dardic isn't interesting enough for you. This one's even weirder. This is the Gyrojet. It's a smoothbore that fires a self-contained rocket propelled projectile. So we're gonna see what the advantages and disadvantages that made these wild, weird, and wonderful in the 1960s. Aside from just the strange look and shape of the Dardic, the press I've got on it is just that the reliability of the ammo itself and actually going off. Now what we're using is original Dardic Trowns that are now almost 50 years old. So we're gonna aim for that blue paint can right in the center and see if it goes bang. Well, this is the second time that we've had this fail to fire and then lock up solid on us. We're gonna put it back on a shelf where hopefully it'll stay for another 40 years before somebody else makes the mistake of trying to mess with it. Now we're gonna look at the Gyrojet and its infamous rocket-propelled projectile. We're working with ammunition that is literally as old as I am, and uh, we're not sure if it's gonna go off. Uh, more often than not, they don't. I'm gonna be drawing a bead on that uh, center blue paint bottle. Let's see how it goes. It's pretty damn cool. Oh, uh, between the two guns, this one's got a lot going for it over the Dardic. The fact that this gun actually worked, that's a plus in my book. So, personal favorite, I'm gonna go with the Gyrojet over the Dardic. <laughs> 